This video seems like it is the start of something. Prepare to cringe rave. Drain it. Dra Don't drain what rice! What you doing? Drain the Oh my god! You killing Like okay, why is it that I understood this before I even went to freaking college, okay? Like when you Google okay, because okay, I have I have to pause it all right here because I'm already upset for him too. Is when I Google how to make rice, when I did this for the first time when I moved out and I had to make my own freaking rice, I Googled, how do I make rice? Because I never made rice myself. Okay, so how do I do it? And I looked it up and it said, here's a diagram on how much water to use depending on the type of rice. And it says it should be fully evaporated. And I just did that for the rest of my life. I don't understand how you can do this on BBC when a simple freaking Google search tells you that this is wrong. It's wrong. You use too much water, you're gonna have wet rice. Me woman, hi, I drain the she The rice. She draining rice with colander, hi. I mean, it's, if you're gonna drain it, I guess it's Hello, with colander. My name is Uncle Roger. Today, I will react to a video he's sent to me by a fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's got hairy bottom parts of his leg. He's got hairy calves, but then his thighs look very smooth. BBC Good Food How to Make Egg Fire Rice video. What is BBC? Let me see. Is big it like something dirty? Black. Like big black. Yep. Oh, it's the British Podcasting Corporation. Okay, okay. Damn British. That BBC is okay. Uncle Roger, not into the other BBC. Let's mm. play. The, the, the British. They took over all of the world in the past to get spices, and then they have the blandest food imaginable. Play the video. Egg fried rice. Don't be afraid. This is really So it's not simple. just white people. It's cheap. It's, it's delicious. The British. Really satisfying. Rice. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Who afraid of egg fried rice? Me. It's the most common dish. Everybody eat egg fried rice. Who afraid? Why are you afraid of egg fried rice? Wear your courage. Uncle Roger scare ghost, but you scare egg fried rice. Failure. Failure. This oh, sure, is simple. really simple, it's cheap, it is. it's delicious, it really satisfying, and it's yep. like a takeaway, but you haven't paid eight quid for it. Who True. paid eight pounds for takeaway egg fried rice? You'd be surprised. My god, they think money go on tree paying eight pounds for egg fried rice. People pay a lot of money for a lot of stuff that I don't understand. People pay a lot of money for food. Okay? People, uh, it's, it's, it's a life hack. It's surprising how many people just don't know how to cook. Learn to cook, people. You'll save yourself money and you'll develop a skill. You know, you know something? You know something that everybody, everybody finds attractive? Men, women, everything in between. Everyone finds a person who can cook a good meal attractive. Okay? You want to increase your dating prospects? Freaking learn how to cook. Okay? People love that stuff. And it's an excuse to get them into your home. So if you're trying to get down and dirty... You have an excuse to get them into your apartment. Or if you're trying to steal their kidneys, you also have a way to get them into your home. You know, not that I advocate for that, but you know. Hey, welcome, Aunt Ram. Welcome to the Twitch side. So, you know, it, it, cooking is a very powerful riz, yeah. Hi, uh... So, a lot of people get afraid of cooking with rice. No, they don't. But you can follow a really simple rule, which is for every one part rice you have, you need two parts water. That's it's not as true. simple as that. That's not necessarily true. It depends on the type of rice. That's a good starting point. Isn't it like, isn't white rice, I, I may be getting it wrong. Isn't white rice usually like one and a half parts? I think it's one and a half parts. Instant rice is one to one with water. Yeah, that's instant rice. That makes sense. I think white rice typically is one to one and a half. But I could be wrong. Who, why you measure water with cup? Just use finger, finger. Okay, I don't you put do finger. Rice, put water onto finger. First joint, first joint the finger. That's how you measure the water, not with British teacup. That Hi, is a weird uh, teacup. First step all wrong already. I am not confident this video is going to be good. Enough rice for around two people. So now the rice is on. Wait, so you don't wash the rice? Oh, yeah, they did. How you don't wash the rice, just cook the rice, not the rice stinky like you. Where you learn how to make rice, some white people cooking school or something. Is she white? <laughs> so now the rice is on, tell. it's time to crack on with the eggs. 
Oh, haha, ha, crack on. I see what you're doing. So punny, so humorous. I dying laughing. I dead now. I've got a frying pan here. Get that onto a medium heat, and then just add a little bit of oil. So let that heat up. So one. Why are you putting? Oh, all right. Why are you putting oil for eggs? You use butter. You use butter. Also, okay, wait, wait, wait. Why are they cracking an egg into another bowl right now? That seems like if they're gonna mix it up to make it a scrambled egg, I get it, but that seems like a, 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 a unnecessary step and a waste of a bowl. You can just do that in the pan. Okay, egg and egg fire. Right try and do this one-handed. Cool. Oh, okay, that pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I give you that. It halfway. Once it's on a simmer. How many simmer, takes do you think that you took? You want to cook it for around ten minutes. You know what I don't like? Uncle Roger don't like induction stove. You know those stoves with no either. fire. Uncle Roger need the fire. Who use induction stove? Same. I agree. It's so lame. So not satisfying. They're also harder to you clean. You go camping. You set up campfire. You don't set up camp induction stove. Oh come everybody, come come sit around this camp induction stove. Let's tell story. Let's make marshmallow. Ten minutes. Why Wang your eggs in. Wang your what? What she say? What she say? Wang your eggs in. Wang your eggs in. Don't wang put your wang eggs anywhere in? near your egg fried rice. Don't wang anything in kitchen, okay? That's how I got fired from Chinese restaurant. Onto a plate. Leave it to one side. Okay. 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 Rice. That is Wait, way too good. Sir. The rice not looking good. You lying to people. So wet. Drain it. Drain. There What's it is. What's she doing? What's she doing? Drain the. R oh my God! You killing me, woman! Hiya! Drain the. R she. The rice. She draining rice with colander. Hi. How can you drain rice with colander? This is not pasta. I've never seen anyone drain rice. I've seen a lot of people wet. do this, and it annoys me to this day. Don't bring colander into your rice cooking. Hiya. Get a nice rice cooker. Don't mess with saucepan like this lady here. Don't mess with colander. If your rice too wet, you recook the rice. No way to save wet rice. Has quite a lot of starch in it, which will make what it. The, what the hell? Now why are you wetting it again? Why are you washing it after what the fact? What the hell? Uncle Roger is so upset. I put my leg down from chair. Why are you running water through rice? <laughs> you ruining the rice. First you use colander to dry the rice and then you put water. Then why bother drying the rice? Who cooked rice like this? How did this woman get on BBC food? And it's because she realized she forgot to watch. Well, it's too late now. On making rice, but this woman, colander on the rice, then water through the rice. This is, oh, and oh. That's really stupid. Uncle Roger sat now. Me now, and then just add. Oh, where did all that ginger. come from? Garlic, ginger. It's a, it's a lot of garlic. I guess you know there's there is such thing as too much garlic, but you know that that's probably fine. Okay, but where where did all this come from? I feel like we skipped a few steps. I love me bell pepper, by the way. All right, this is gonna sound like a psychopath. I love bell pepper so much. I I had some bell pepper left over when I was making something. I literally just ate the bell pepper. I had I ate them like strips. And I was just I was just munching on them while I finished the rest of the dish because like I I'm not gonna save this. It's half a it's like less than half a bell pepper. I was like I'll just eat it. I just ate it while I was prepping the rest of the food. I was making pasta. It was really good. I love bell pepper. I think it was a red one too. Okay, classic classic Asian seasoning. Okay, this one okay. And then you want to put all the other ingredients in rice. Oh, the sad gloopy rice that ran through yep. colander. The egg, the spring onions. Okay. All right. And See, Adam at the peas. end. Peas. And then you just want to stir it all together. And Those are big peas. Hmm. For about three to five minutes. Three this to five look minutes. Okay, but look too healthy. Where your MSG? You don't use MSG. How to make good egg fried rice? This is just white people egg fried rice. MSG is the the king of flavor. If you say five life, minutes use though. MSG. If you're happy in life, use MSG. Put MSG in everything. It'll turn it better. You just get a baby. Put MSG on baby. It'll be better baby, smarter. And that's done. Don't listen to that part. I don't. I don't. I don't know about that part. I don't. I don't know enough about MSG. But okay. But also, okay. Why are you frying it for another five minutes? I 
feel like. If you're adding the green onion, you're adding all that. Okay, if you're going to add the whites of the onion, sure, you add that. You can add that towards the end, and now you have a bunch of other stuff. So maybe you need to do it for another three or four, maybe five minutes, I guess. But you don't add the garnish right then. You don't do that. Okay, you, if you're adding the greens of the onion. That is literally the last thing you put. Like, now you put the greens of the onion. Why are they not separating? It's not that hard. You've already chopped them into bits. Just push the green parts to one side of the cutting board and then pop the white parts to the other side. It's not that hard. Thank you for the follow, Derek. It's literally not that hard. You can, it's, it's an extra second. Why aren't they doing that? Time to plate up. The colors are still oh, vibrant. No, oh, no, no, that was That was metal on metal, wasn't it? That was metal on metal. Yep. You're using metal to scrape your saucepan higher. This is non-stick saucepan. Cannot use metal higher. Yep. Your, your parents never teach you. If I use metal on saucepan at home growing up, I will be this old. No more parents. Why are you ring. often? I use metal on saucepan. Mom don't want me anymore. Very few things break Asian people hot. One is when your rice run out. Number two is when you scrape pan with metal spoon. First, my wife leave me. Now you scrape pan with metal. Hiya. Uncle Roger, want a suicide. Very delicious. I'm very proud of myself. You shouldn't <laughs> Why are you proud of yourself? You... <sighs> You messed up everything. You scrape saucepan with metal. You dry the rice and wet the rice and dry the rice with colander. You don't use MSG. <sighs> Why this woman proud of herself? Egg fried rice. Uncle Roger know how to make egg fried rice and Uncle Roger three year old. And this lady, I don't know, 34, making egg fried rice on induction hob. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I do hate the induction stove. BBC Good Food, this is not good video. People use this video, make egg fried rice, and they think egg fried rice is disgusting. Not good for Chinese culture. BBC Good Food, next time you want to make egg fried rice video, ask Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger teach you proper technique, the Asian way. Follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram, it's my nephew Nigel. He set up Instagram for me, he managed my Instagram, but follow the sure, Instagram. Bye-bye. Yeah. Very funny. Very funny. All right, so now I know. Now I know where this all started with the freaking the hate on how other people are making the rice. Because I didn't even know that this was. A, I didn't know that it was so unknown to to not drain the rice. I thought it was just a thing that my parents didn't do. I I just thought it was that. I, was, I thought it was so common knowledge. The fact that you Google it and it's just like yeah, it the water should be gone, and that's it. Also, okay, here's something that I didn't do. I didn't see them add any butter to that rice. Okay, when the rice is nearly done, you add a, you, you don't measure it. They always say, add a teaspoon, add two teaspoons. No, you just take a spoon, you take it out of the butter, and you plop the butter in there. And then, and then, you, then, you, then you get it nice and melted, and then boom, now your rice is ready. That's the one thing they were missing. They missed the little dollop of butter on there. Okay, they missed that. And, but, uh, but not like a fucking full stick of butter. I've seen people do that, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, you're going to have heart disease. So, yep. Yep. So, rinse your rice, then have it fully evaporated, then add some butter to it. Mm, very good. Very, very good. So very good. But thank you for watching, y'all. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, um, if we're going to put this on YouTube. But, uh, you know, if you want more of this, let me know down in the comments below. And maybe come by the stream or the Discord and all that stuff live. But until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you next time.